Mata. And we're live. Okay, so welcome to a Dead Ends Flashcast. So you guys uh, that already have stuck around with us from uh, the very beginning already know what a flashcast is. So you know that this is something that we're going to go into um, uh, in detail, but it, it generally doesn't tend to last anything more than sort of 15 to 20 minutes, although we have been known to go on uh, for quite some time. Um, so the show this evening um, is all around uh, Khan Cottage. Um, and we spoke about this on our last episode around trespassing. Um, and it featured quite heavily where um, we had a team, uh, Ghost of Britain, who uh, did some video footage uh, in 2020 um, in Khan Cottage. Obviously, that then was aired um, on Really TV, Unexplained Caught on Camera. Um, and unfortunately, the owner um, was approached and advised that their property was on the TV, uh, which then obviously led them to contacting us. Um, and we have since looked into it for them. So as promised, uh, we always update you guys when we have something new. Uh, so I'm going to hand you over to CJ because CJ has been the one ultimately dealing with it because it's better to deal with one person rather than two. So yep. CJ kindly took that on, but we both bear responsibility. So I'm going to hand over to CJ this evening. Thank you, Kelly. Hello, guys, and welcome to the show. Obviously, we just want to uh, bring things up to a speedy update uh, of what we find out. Now, we've had a lot of new people that have joined, so what I'm going to do is give a very, very quick brief rundown of what has led us to this flashcast at the moment this evening, okay? Uh, and it isn't going to be that long, so we're not going to keep you that long. Uh, we haven't got any guests coming on. Uh, it's just me and Carrie. Our mods are in the house, so please be respectful in the uh, chat room. Um, and we are not, and I'd like to make it clear, we are not going to be discussing anything other than this. Okay? So we want to make that clear to you. Now, about two weeks ago, we uh, did a, a, a podcast full podcast on trespassing and abandoned buildings and really what's happened is we've had a little bit of a tr trilogy of it we had another flashcast where it's led on to this flashcast now we did on the last one state that we had some information uh, because it was brought to our attention and tonight on this one we are acting on behalf of the owners of Khan Cottage Okay, this is not from dead ends. This is we are representing them. They have asked us to represent them and to come on and explain their side of this. Uh, so basically, what's happened is we were contacted by some people that we will refer to as the caretakers because they knew we were doing a show on abandoned buildings. Uh, they contacted us because they were a bit concerned and very upset to see a program aired on TV, on really, on the Sky Channel, a paranormal program, and the cottage that they were, that they look after, and that they try to maintain and make sure that there's nobody going in there, uh, featured on this program. Now, they came to us and said to us, look, you know, we are there, we're looking after this property, We've spoke to the owners. They're not happy about it. So we do our due diligence. We've said, well, well what footage? You know, we haven't seen anything. No. What's this about? So they come back to us and they said it was on that program. <laughs> and that at the end of the day, nobody had permission to be in the building. Nobody had permission to be there. And nobody had permission to film in there or permission to put in, uh, uh, you know, the film, the footage, to make it uh, public. And it's because it's been made public, we are at this end. Now, what we want to say is we went and contacted the production company to ask the production company, why did you broadcast this program without actual 
check in for permission to come mm. on from the owners. I mean, you know, the owners have told us that, you know, they haven't given permission for this. At least they haven't even given permission for it to be shown. So we had to wait a few days to actually get a response from them. And if Kelly's got it there, uh, yeah. this is the response that we had after asking certain questions uh, of the production company. And we want to just put this up on the screen so you can see that this is what we did. Now, this is um, from uh, uh, Blur. What do they call their back to back, back, -to -back productions. productions? Do you want me to read and, it? Yeah, could you read it? Because my screen's rather small. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So, obviously, we contacted them with a few questions and they've replied with answers to our questions. So, we won't read what we sent them because it's pretty obvious what, what we sent them with their uh, reply. So, it says, Hello, Kelly and Colin. The series Unexplained Caught on Camera is created with both filmed content and clips sourced from contributors all around the world. When we film content for the programme, we obtain permission from the location landowner, everyone featured in the footage, and any additional permissions which may be required for access or materials. When clips are provided and licensed to us by an archive house or a contributor, we obtain these assurances from the licensor of the clip. This agreement with the licensor grants us all consents necessary to enable us to use the footage within the program. The footage of this investigation was provided to us in good faith under that agreement that the licensor of the footage was fully entitled to give the contribution to us as the owner of this footage. Kind regards, Back to Back Productions. That's brilliant. Thank you, Kelly. Right. Now, as you can see there, what they are saying is they obtain permission from the licensee, the people that supplied the footage, that they had the relevant permissions to do it. They even mention, I think, if I can see it in there, where they say about the landowner as well, permission from the landowner. I think it's here. That's it. Yeah, there, which actually states now, obviously, we went back with this and said, hang on, in all fairness, you know, they're saying that they had permission and that the team that was in there had permission to film there because we have to check because we don't know. You know, we've never been there. So we went back to the uh, to the caretakers who in turn contacted the owners. Uh -huh. Now, the owners come back and have emphatically denied that any permission was given to anybody to be in that property. Uh -huh. uh, they denied that any permission was given to film in that property or for anybody to actually enter into that property. So this led on to really, I wanted to get a little bit more information background about the family. So it did lead on that I actually spoke uh, via messaging to the owner, which was a young lady. Uh, she then in turn uh, wrote back to me saying, you know, she was unhappy and she wasn't happy at all about what had gone on and what had happened and that she didn't give, and neither did the family give any consent. But in the meantime, her father mm. came on the phone and spoke to me. Now the father is really, really unhappy over this and um, his, his reaction to it was took me by surprise, really, to be quite honest with you, Kelly, mm. because it turns out that the family is a very, very religious family. They have strong beliefs. Yeah. Uh, the cottage was bought by him for his daughter, and I'll state it was under half a million pounds that they paid for this property. That's yeah. an awful amount of money. And I think everybody would agree that's a substantial amount of money to buy for a property. But he bought it for his daughter because she was a, a budding artist, you know, and the area up there, I believe, is absolutely beautiful. But go back to this religion and their, their beliefs. Uh, he was really, really upset over the fact that there's been allegations made 
of uh, a satanic occultist named Alistair Crowley has been associated with this college and he wanted to make uh, this college. He wanted to make it absolutely clear that it's conjecture, it's rumor, there's no proof to it whatsoever. What has been coming out is absolutely unbelievable. Now we know why people have jumped on it. Or well, I do anyway, because I do my homework. Mm -hmm. I've checked on a newspaper that was done, uh, the Cornwall Live, I believe. Uh, they'd done a story on uh, Khan Cottage, and they touched upon the Al Alistair Crowley um, connection with it. But they made it clear, and even in a picture of the cottage, it states it is, you know, there's no proof to substantiate Alistair Crowley has had any connection with that cottage whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So going back to the family who's religious, that's going to be very upsetting to them, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to accept that fact that they're upset over that, not yeah. just being upset doubly at the fact that their cottage was put on national TV without their consent. Mm -hmm. Now, on the Wednesday, when we announced this, now, I'm not sure if it was the Wednesday or if it was the Thursday, I had a message from Mr. Lee Steer. Uh, have we got that message that can go up? We do. And I just want to point out, before I put the message up, this um, yeah. is in no way to embarrass anybody. No, uh, no, no Or no. to pick on anybody in particular. No, uh, no. This is a factual conversation. Yeah. Um, so we, we just want to make sure that everybody knows we are not ganging up on people. No. We're, we're showing you a, a factual, full conversation. Um, and this is the full conversation. You will see there's no replies from us. Um, no. So we'll just show you that now. Maybe you might be able to read it out as well, Kelly. Sure. I, okay. I've got no problem with that. So ignore the first two ones that that's in reply to us going to run the trespass show um, and obviously announcing um, around Gob. Um, so we're looking at the last one on the 7th of March at 8.28. Why don't you ask the woman who bought that house to contact us? We was actually invited to there to film there. That property at the time was wide open, as you can see on our video. It was Alistair Crowley holiday home, fact. It was all over the news before and after we went down. But like I said, ask the woman to contact me. I'm not a bad person, CJ. Right, well, first of all, if you could leave it up, because I want to just take some points on here. Mm -hmm. He w wanted the owner to contact him. Um, I'm, I was quite happy. But the owner was not. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to have contact. So let me make that clear. That wasn't us. They did not have a contact. They wanted nothing at all to do with them whatsoever. Now, going back to what was said originally in the other post, which was up from the production company, they stated that all permissions had been put here. In all fairness, he does say that they were invited mm -hmm. uh, there to film there. The question yeah. is by whom? That Because they didn't, they weren't invited by the family. They weren't invited by those who were looking after the property. Mm -hmm. So whom invited them? Because at the end of the day, you know, you've got to be fair here and you've got to, you've got to look at it from their perspective. They could have just walked into a property and, and, and the thought that they had permission. But obviously they didn't. Now, obviously, again, it, it goes on to say that, you know, about Alistair Crowley and that it's a fact that it was his holiday home. There's no proof of that whatsoever. And I would say that at the end of the day, to actually come out with that based on a newspaper article, because that's all I can understand that he's based it on and uh, what was written afterwards, after this newspaper article, that was done to help sell the property. Mm. So basically, we had that and we passed that on to the owner. Now, the owner twice as much enraged because, as he said, there is no proof to substantiate Alistair Crowley was there. They did not have any permission to be there. They did not have permission to film. Unfortunately, if the book fits, it fits. There's nothing we can do about it. Mm. 
Now, the owner, in the last conversation I had with him, actually gave us a statement. And I'm going to read the statement out because at the end of the day, I've had trouble with the email, but I'm quite happy to read it out. Okay, so this is a statement from the owner themselves. And it says, hi, both. We are sorry we haven't got back yet, as we have had a lot of things on our plate to deal with. But I can confirm that we haven't given anyone permission except the caretaker and our family permission to go to Khan Cottage for any reason. The caretaker has been very nice and helpful to us in keeping an eye on, on it to try to stop trespassing. Now, this is interesting. This is from the owner. Mm -hmm. Lee and Lindsay did not have any permission from us as owners to go on our property. They have trespassed knowing that in spite of signs saying private, no access, they ignored it. Now, I want to just say we've not been there, so we can't yeah. say if there was signs or not. So don't start jumping down or shooting the messenger. OK, this is their words. Uh, UK law is very clear about that. And they filmed too and had it broadcast and on the net. So we think legal action should take place. Sorry for the delay. Kind regards the owner we're not going to give out his no, name okay no. but i can tell you i spoke again with him after sending everything that we had to them because we were asked to put their case across and put their annoyance across he came back to me and in that conversation is where i found out about a little bit more about their family oh dear this family is substantial uh the family as i said is very religious mm -hmm. and they do have let's just say the resources to carry out anything that they said that they want to do now we're not saying that they're taking legal action towards anybody other than probably the production company they might look at that he didn't indicate anything other than that to me, other than in that there that he thinks that we think that legal action should take place. Now, when I questioned him, oh, would that be, uh, you know, probably a lawyer or something? He didn't mention lawyers or solicitors. No. He mentioned his team of barristers. Now, a team of barristers say to me that they definitely got the resources. Given that the fact that they also live in Scotland, and they own substantial property. These people, you really should have checked before uh, really upsetting them. So we don't know what the outcome is going to be. We're, once we're notified, we'll, we'll update people. We're not saying that they're going to take action against Ghost of Britain yeah. individually. We're not saying that they're going to take action against the production company, but they're going to inquire by the look of it. Now, the owner actually said to me, that basically he would like to have a word with Ghost of Britain, right? And he said he'd be happy if they supplied us with a contact number. Now, I have to come in here from my perspective. I'm unhappy about that, and I'm not comfortable. Mm. So if they are watching, which no doubt they are, because probably they're going to go live after this and rip it all apart, we're just going to put sit it there, all right? Because we're done with you after this, to be honest with you. But I'm not comfortable after your life and accusing us of giving out your private addresses where we didn't. And in fact, you all weren't even notified, but we're not going there, all right? We've addressed that. But I'm not comfortable about it. So what I suggested is we will pass on your email on your website to the owner. Can and I just can I just quickly jump in here? Yeah. Uh, so sorry yeah. to cut you off there, CJ. Yeah, I'm just yeah. hold it right there. I just yeah. want to point out to uh, a comment in the chat room. I'm not going to read it, but mm. Sasha Pitney. All you need to do, my love, is go onto Google and type in Khan Cottage. Yeah, in Cornwall, and you will find exactly when that property was sold and for how mm. much. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. Just do that. And if me and CJ say that CJ has had contact with the owner, we do not make this stuff up. I haven't got oh. time to be playing silly games. We don't make stuff up. We do the research. I, I do not find any fun in having to do this whatsoever. But there are things in the field that just need to be addressed. And this is what Dead Ends is all about. Thank you. So I gather, because I'm not looking at the chat, because, you know, I, yeah, I'm you just not going to look. But at the end of the day, if people are saying that it's being made up, mm. fine, that's great. Their followers probably of God that have been sent in here, like they said they were going to do in their life that one time. And I'm not bothered about it, because I just don't really care about them, to be quite honest with you. Nor do I care what they you know what they video we just bring factual information yep. you've seen what we've put up about from the the production company mm -hmm. you've seen what lee message so he was confirming that he had been invited there that he had permission to film we have stated on mm -hmm. there about it <coughs> yeah and also i will address the worry back that was made also about breaking you don't have to break into a building for the term break-in to be used as well mm -hmm. either because you know, if you enter a building that is not that is owned by somebody it's technically break-in all right mm -hmm. so you know just look it up yourselves yeah. but at the end of the day i'm not interested in what uh followers of ghost of britons are coming on here and saying yeah. if you don't believe what has been that's stated fine. you know that that that's not a problem with us go and do some homework and check it out first because at the end of the day you might end up with egg on your face mm -hmm. like what they are going to end up on because at the end of the day we don't know what the owners are going to do no and if no the way. owner wants to contact cj and tell cj what the outcome is and the owner wants That's us to update you guys because he's well aware that we are doing this this evening oh, yeah. um, and he's very very happy um to say the least that um, there's a voice out there for homeowners yeah. and venue owners alike. Um, so, and we'll continue to be that voice for everybody in the paranormal that needs us. And we're gonna be a bit like Marmite, I'm afraid guys. You're either gonna yeah. love us one minute and hate us the next and then love us again and then hate us. And, and we apologize for that. But at the end of the day, we have to protect our field. And if it means yeah. that we have to talk about things that a couple of years ago we would have all sat on our hands and not done anything about it, then so be it. So be yeah. it. And I'm, I, and I'm quite happy if people want to call me out on it, go, go call me out. As I say, go do your homework. Instead of being a brain-dead zombie and just listening to what is what he's told you, see both sides of it first. Yeah, absolutely. Before you go on and, and open a trap door. Trust yeah, me, that's absolutely. All it is. I mean, guys, yeah. all you've got to do is is just research. You all know how to do it. We don't pay um, a lot of money to go on no. to websites to find information no. because when you run a show like ours, the information has to be in the public domain. So, really, isn't any point in us paying money um, to open up other avenues within um, the websites, such as Companies House? There's no no point because none of that information could be shared because then it's not public information so we can only go on public information uh yeah. we did try to bring you the email tonight but unfortunately yeah. at half past 10 this morning cj was trying to send it to me and for some reason his email wouldn't send it even though he sent me it three bloody times yeah. <laughs> he sent me it in messenger but as you can imagine if i opened up messenger you'd all be able to see every conversation that me and cj have which would be quite boring um, so, and we're just not prepared to have our private conversations. But, uh, but Kelly, um, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that whatever action comes out of this, whatever, the owner will be in contact with them, so it'll be Yeah, absolutely, there. absolutely. You know? And like we said, when we ran the show on Trespassing yeah. at the beginning, yeah. you know, before, obviously, we had um, Lee's um, reply to CJ. Yeah. Look, we don't know whether he realised he was doing anything wrong or not. No, exactly. Um, and do, 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 do you know what really pisses me off the most? I that? actually stood up for them. I actually said on the last flashcast, don't go after them because they may not know. And then yeah. what do they do? They go alive afterwards and they start having a go. Then yeah. they go and do another live and make silly little remarks. At the but end, that's that. even, even tonight, 
I tried to say that, you know, it's not personal because it isn't. It was just the fact that we were asked to put the owner's sign. And the owner does not wish to be made known. And they have every right to be anonymous mm -hmm. until they're ready to come forward. Absolutely. And I'm pretty sure at some stage they're going to come forward. And you might have a little bit of a shock. That's all I'm Absolutely. Saying. But look, guys, you're all entitled hmm. to your opinions. We love all of your opinions regardless. Uh, if we don't agree with them, yeah. we're going to let you yeah. know just as much as you guys let us know you don't agree with ours. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I really hope that tonight's update has kind of showed mm. you that we, we don't just say something and then not come back. We, we do continue um, yeah. until we're done. Um, so as far as we're concerned right now, this is done until the owner um, decides otherwise. Um, if he wants to update us, then he updates us. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. Um, there's not much we can do. Everything will be going straight back to the owner tonight, mm -hmm. even from the discussion tonight, what's said, even what will be said afterwards. Yeah, he'll so, have the whole know, video. He'll so. have the whole lot of it. So he'll be able to make an informed decision choice. on what yeah. he wants to do and 100%. choice. But we do wish him, people. yeah, we do wish him all the best. And we do hope yeah. that people, please, please don't go there. Um, please don't go inside, regardless of whether you see a yeah. doors off. There are signs, he said, there are signs. Um, again, I've never been there, neither has Colin, so we, no. we can't say that there, there is or there isn't. But he's saying there are signs um, asking people not to trespass. Um, so please do not go down there. Stop going down there um, and let the guys do their home up in peace um, and let them just be. I'm sure if there's anything spooky that goes on in there, there's plenty of teams down Cornwall Way that they can get in touch with. Yeah. Um they they really do not need the revenue so please 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 just just stay away from khan cottage yeah um and, and just you know enjoy somewhere else well, what i haven't added on is the fact of the locals because the locals are down there are up in arms over it because they're sick to death of it as well and that's including local parish councillors mm. so at the end of the day you're not just ragging off one person you're ragging off a lot of people but mm. just to add it that I'm quite open, honest, and transparent mm -hmm. because I know what's coming. Don't mm -hmm. think I'm silly. Uh, I think Kelly knows what's coming from him. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if you want any information, we're quite happy to cooperate with any legal or any police request or anything. Yeah, really. absolutely. Okay. We're quite open to it because we'll be happy to show that information and mm -hmm. prove it. Okay. So yeah. there's an old saying my little Elise used to say, in your face. Sorry. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, guys, look, we promised we wouldn't be long. And yeah. I think we stuck yeah. to our word on that. You've um, been all amazing once again. Um, yeah. Thanks ever so much, guys. We look forward to our next show in April. Uh, they oh, are God, all yes. our events um, calendar. So please do go onto the page, click yeah. on events and have a look next one's around uh discrimination so sexual and disability discrimination so i'm looking um, forward to that one as well kelly because yeah, i think it'll be a, it's something getting your teeth into something completely different and getting away yeah. from all this madness yes absolutely so guys enjoy sleep tight and we'll see you back in april okay bye bye